LGBT is not supported and it may be illegal in Malaysia. Before we get into our topic, let us be familiar on the law first. We will hear from professional lying in first. She is a lawyer and she will introduce some law according to the topic of LGBT. LGBT have no rights. Uh, they uh, it's only have uh, discrimination. Mm. So uh, actually, different prime minister uh, previously have a different stand and opinion on uh, LGBT. So I can roughly share a bit lah. Uh, for our previous uh, prime minister uh, mm. Mahathir, so our uh, Mahathir Mohamad. He doesn't has a good approach on this LGBT, and uh, he can say that uh, it, it, it can say that uh, he oppose uh, LGBT in Malaysia. He do uh, state uh, that like uh, it is not allowed, and even a uh, same uh, same sex marriage is not allowed will not be allowed in Malaysia because we are a Muslim country. Yeah, I do have uh, people who bully me. Like when I first, like, uh, like, uh, express myself on social media that I do have a uh, les- lesbian as a girlfriend. Oh, then like quite shocking, and they start to commenting like, "How is it possible?" And then like teachers and my classmates around, they are all like. Pointing at me like, hey, this girl is like lesbian, and you should like keep a distance, or they will behind your back saying you nasty words. So it's kind of like you know you like tends to keep a not really keep a lookout, but you will tend to worry a lot, and then people start to pick point at you a lot of things, and then uh like as one of the days like when uh I did went to a washroom, got some. People that they will use water to like splash on me, or either like when even secretly paste something behind my back, and then they will say like I'm lesbian. So when the first time I uh, this happened to me is when I finish my PE, my physical education class, and then I need to change my sports shirt to school uniform. But it's too crowded in the toilet where, I, where we usually go. So I go alone to the other toilet. There's a small group of boys from the other class come to me and then push me and then call me Aqua, if you know that. <laughs> like that, things like that. Okay, it's just insulting. Lah. So like, if they are just verbally insulting, then for me it's like totally nothing. But then if you make my uniform dirty, then I, I have to pair with the 30 on my uniform whole day long. Wow, I cannot tahan. I, I really cannot tolerate this thing. Uh. So like immediately I fight back. Okay. Uh, like I'm I'm super duper crazy. So I fight back with the group of boys. I don't care how tall they are, how strong they are, I just fight back. I don't care. Um this is just um actually their bullying would also be like other kind of bullying in general right is um they're more at risk at um getting ptsd depending on what kind of treatment they have if they felt like they're almost their life is being threatened or you know they have a higher risk and especially when they don't have enough support um on top of that you know you want to talk about if people kind of like look down on you for a really long time telling you all those words like uh, using words like faggots and all you can uh, imagine that they find it hard to trust any other people. They find it hard to open up to people. And why would that be important? Just imagine that you have trust issues with any people. You just become very isolated. You become very lonely. You felt like this. you're against this world. That makes you feel super, uh, super depressed like, technically. And that also poses a risk for depression. Um, yeah, for stigma. And this stigma, right, it's, sometimes it's not just like that they can tell themselves that it's not my f- fault because if they keep hearing this again and again they can internalize this stigma it can affect the way they see themselves 
then gain a lot of like anxiety or depression or even some other things, uh, some other conditions, PTSD could also happen. Here's the thing. Uh, if you look at the grand scale of stuff, um, the government and the politician have control over a lot of stuff. Sajat shouldn't be an issue. She's a trans woman, she's successful. She's not challenging anything in this society, but yet the government and the authorities, the police, and Jakim and Jais choose to dig it out. Um, but I do see, I, I, I can see hope. I mean, people are starting to realize uh, what they are seeing with you know the social media movement coming. Um, people are edu getting more educated about what fake news and finding out what truth is. So, because yeah, of I internet, because of Facebook, now people get more information for other countries. People get to know that they are not alone. People get to know that they are not mentally ill. So people can connect with different people around the world. People start to know their rights. People start to appreciate who they are. So the within the community, actually the resilience is uh, growing stronger. And also because like you guys, you all start to see, start to think you know that it somehow is not right to bully or harass those LGBT. So the awareness about uh, human rights, the awareness about how to take care of this group of people and the awareness about LGBT people are normal people are growing. Good tip for being an ally is to really care and ask questions and be respectful. So, uh you know if someone is transgender use their preferred pronouns if someone is non-binary don't challenge them just say okay you're, you're i'm glad you told me you're non-binary i'll use they them as a pronoun moving out forward don't be like what is non-binary is that even exist so are you a guy or a girl that kind of thing no no don't ask that kind of question and you know if someone comes out to you as you know say they are gay just accept it and be like wow i'm glad you told me about this I will say like, don't be scared and being LGBT is nothing wrong also and just be yourself. Like you are not alone because in the world there's so many LGBT so it's not, nothing in the world that you are being wrong being like a lesbian or okay? gay so like just being yourself and like don't care about other people. I'm not scared to be seen I make no